is such a better way. You know, like it's just such a better way. When people actually answer your phone call because they know you're not fixing to try to sell them, you know, and they feel they feel like they can freely talk to you about what their real goals are because they know you're not fixing to do something that only uh, you have ulterior motives that you just want to do a deal, and they know that they can talk to you real talk. You know, when you build a reputation around being that guy, now everybody wants to do business with you. Day night, I'm in my studio. Me and my wife, Carlin, we painted the uh, wall here gray. So uh, we're trying to do some extra stuff here in the studio, but I just missed a call from one of my coaching students. So I'm gonna reach back out to him and see what, see what he's got on his mind on a Sunday night. JJ, what's up? It's Ricky Carruth. I think I missed a call from you. I know I missed a call from you nine minutes ago. Uh, give me a ring. I'm here. I'm just chilling. Um, just call me on my cell phone. Talk to you soon. Okay, so he didn't answer, but uh, I'm sure he'll call me back in a minute. But it is Sunday night. Um, I just wanted to say to you guys real quick. Here we go. JJ. Ricky, what's going on? Not much, man. What's happening? Oh, not much. Not much. Just uh, getting it done here in my marketplace. But I wanted to ask you a quick question about uh, on the listing presentation, man. You got a quick second? Yeah. Talking about about the motivation, really, because once it happens for them over there, then it's a done deal over here, right? Yeah. See, see, see. They're gonna see. Here's the thing. They're gonna tell you when they're ready. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Like it's your job just to be there and to keep the line of communication open. See, if the line of communication's open, then you're good. They're gonna tell you when they're ready to do something and they'll more than likely use you. But see, when you go for that high pressure, close the deal approach, that's when people quit returning your calls and start ignoring your phone calls and don't return emails. See what I'm saying? Yep. You have to keep the line of communication open. You got to pre-qualify them that there wasn't another agent already in their mind. So if there wasn't another agent, they're talking about doing a deal. They're keeping the line of communication. They're answering your phone calls. They're answering your emails. They're calling you. They're asking you what's up, what they should do, da, 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 da. That's where you want to be. Because look, man. This is not the first, this is not the one and only deal you're going to do with these people. See what I'm saying? Yeah, I hear you. It's like, long term. Yeah, like, like the more like this you are with more people, then the more deals you're going to do. And then the bigger you're going to be in two years. You know, like, like I know it's a mindset change, but... It's such a opportunity, man, you know, like it's such a better way, you know, like it's just such a better way when people actually answer your phone call because they know you're not fixing to try to sell them, you know, and they feel, they feel like they can freely talk to you about what their real goals are because they know you're not fixing to do something that only uh, you have ulterior motives that you just want to do a deal and they know that they can talk to you real talk. You know, when you build a reputation around being that guy, now everybody wants to do business with you. You know, like when you do that, they're gonna be more than willing and more than comfortable with referring some, one of their friends or family members to you because they know that you're gonna treat them really good. You're gonna look out for them and not yourself. I mean, it's just the bottom line, dude. Like, I know that it's crazy because you don't go in to close a deal, but 
the name of the game is you need thousands of clients. Yeah, and that's the difference maker is that I, I wasn't necessarily, oh, well, I'm not bummed at all, actually. Uh, um, the, the confusion was just like, well, that seemed like it went really well, but at the same time, I didn't walk out with the listing, so um, what kind of happened? But if it does happen in the future, in the next couple of weeks that they gave me a call, I guess that, that call, incoming call, of, hey, we're ready, is going to be a lot easier than throwing out 10 objection handlers saying, yes. what do we do this, what do we do that, what do we do, boom, boom, boom. It's like, no, like, I think you said it in one of your videos, their decision has already been made, or they know when their decision is going to be made. So they're not, they're, they're, not they're, they're, de they're, de the they're definitely not going to do the deal with the guy that's just trying to do the deal. You know? Yeah. I mean, the thing is like, yeah, that, 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 that income call, you know, they, they need to get in front of two, three more agents and they're trying to do the hard close, they don't get it. And then that income call comes in, hey, we're ready. It's just, you know, it's like they could do breakfast at the same time and told you to come with the house. <laughs> and here's the thing though, JJ, you might lose some deals to those high pressure guys here and there, right? Yeah. You might you might lose some deals, but see, losing deals is the name of the game. You're gonna you're like you're going to lose deal. Losing deals is what real estate's all about. It's being able to like um, you know weather that and just not let it get to you and just keep moving forward. You know. But see, here's the thing: if you're a high pressure salesman, you're gonna lose deals to guys like me, right? Yeah. And if you're like me, I'm gonna lose deals to, to high pressure salesman guys, right? Yeah. So we're all gonna lose deals, okay? But out of the two, who is gonna retain more clients? Who's gonna have more respect out of their clients? Who's gonna get more referrals? Who's gonna be on top? Like on top, on top. See what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I, I definitely see what you're saying. Yeah. And, well, the other thing, the main thing I get from that really is just is the reputation part of it because the guy that does the ZTD program is going to maintain a, a well reputation in the marketplace versus the guy with the objection hammer has every, you know, he can, he can close them with the festival on the other side also, but the difference is just that reputation what you're going to need because we're, we're at the bucket right? Everything is in abundance. Yes. There's enough business to go around for everybody. More than enough. So the thing is, how do you want to be remembered when you pack up your bag, I guess? Not even how, not even when you pack up your bag. How do you want to be remembered right this second? How do you want people to look at you, you know? Yeah, I'm watching you morph into a real agent. I appreciate that. Yeah, man. So yeah, you're on you're, you're on the right track with those people. Okay. Well, I'm going to keep going at it, Ricky. I uh, appreciate all the guidance, man. I appreciate what you're doing with the group. Uh, we'll just continue doing what we have to do, uh, following your footsteps on, on the real estate and just really life in general, the way you're plugging away at life uh, in a positive manner. So, I uh, appreciate you being on the open line on the other end here of this phone call too, because it sometimes it's like clear you just gotta talk it, talk it out loud to somebody, and then you kind of discover your answers as you're in the middle of a conversation. So <laughs> that's it, dude. I appreciate that. Like most of the most of the um, agents that call me with questions, they answer their own. They already know the answer. You know, they just want to hear me say it. You know. So, cool, man. Well, have a good night. I appreciate you. Keep grinding. And um, let me know how this deal uh, turns out. Definitely. And I'll share it with the group, too. Just okay. Uh, keep posting our results and all that, too. So, I'll, I'll cool. keep you posting that. Okay, buddy. See ya. Bye. Later, man. That guy is a very new uh, member of the coaching program. He's probably... I want to say one to two months 
in the program and is just a prime example of an agent who was trained to handle objections, go for the close, go for the listing, go for the appointment, and he joined the program and it's opened his eyes to that, number one, there's another way. There's a different way other than just trying to jam a cell down people's throats. And on top of that, it actually works short and long term and that it's all about building a reputation around being low pressure, hardworking, dependable, professional, knowledgeable, and that's just what ZTD is all about. It's why I'm doing this. The reason I'm doing these videos, the reason I'm doing the uh, social media, and the reason I'm being so consistent with posting videos and content every single day is to show you guys how consistent I am and how consistent you have to be. Um, and you guys are gonna look back, you know, two, three, four, five, ten years from now, you're gonna look back and say, he's still posting stuff every single day, and he's still selling properties every single day. He's still doing the same thing over and over and over again, making it happen. So that's the message for tonight. Be consistent, um, have the right mindset in mind and the right purpose, build your reputation the right way with people, keep the line of communication open with, with your prospects, Specs. Without that, there's no deal. So, um, you guys have a good rest of the night. I'm going to go here and catch some dinner. I cooked some chicken. Carla went to her mom's, so I made some stuffed chicken. She has no idea. So, I'm looking forward to surprising her with that. And uh, we'll talk to you guys soon.